Hey there, Aquarius. Um, my name is Isil. I'm on YouTube. I'm a new reader here. And <clears throat> I'm under the name The Altruistic Mystic um, on YouTube. I, um, I want to let you know, yeah, I'm, I'm here to do your September 1st to the 15th love and relationship reading. But I wanted you to know, like, this is... <clears throat> I've been not adding any shuffling in for anybody. Um, just because it takes extra time on, and I do this from my phone. So it's kind of like, um, it's not the easiest to upload as far as like uploading time goes. It takes a while. Um, so I, I was trying to get it done faster by not, by, by stepping that and just, you know, shuffling off camera and then putting it on. But for some reason, I'm like compelled to like do yours with shuffling, which, which adds on an extra 10 minutes. So you're welcome Aquarius, you know, but like, I don't know what that is, but it's like telling me to like pay attention to your reading in this way. So, um, I want you to show me love and relationship energy for the sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for September 1st through 15th. Um, of 2018. Show me a general energy, an overall energy for this situation. Show me an overall energy for this situation in regard to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, love, love, so you have the Queen of Swords and you have the Page of Wands. So, Queen of Swords, most definitely could be you, you know, Madam Air Sign. But this is somebody who is um, really, really conscious of the way that they express themselves, really conscious of the way that they, um, <clears throat> I kind of want to say, pick apart information that they receive from others. Um, they are somebody who is, um, very ready to stand in, 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 um, not just favor of themselves, but in, in protection of themselves. They take care of themselves. They're watching, they have their own back. That's kind of what I mean. They have their own back in regard to this. And, you know, <clears throat> For this guy to be under the deck, you know, that could be um, the, the, the Page of Wands. Um, he's lesser than the knight. He's a little bit more immature, you know, but also he is communication. He's um, direction, you know, finding um, a new direction to go in. You know, there's a lot that this Page of Wands can be part of in um in life and in how it shows up so it could be messages it could be direction it could be a very vibrant energy that you may be feeling once you've experienced releasing yourself from a situation that um caused you to it, it called that it called for that so who knows maybe maybe not who knows let's see the rest of the cards um yeah but the overall energy for this reading is somebody who is intending to be very 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 clear in the way communication is had here. No half-stepping. So, yeah, I'm going to put that over there. And I've already shuffled these. Let me do a little bit more. So, um, show me the sign of Aquarius, love, relationships, reading with Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, show me, okay, so the four of pentacles, holding off. You know, if this is this Queen of Wands, a Queen of Swords energy, you're holding off from, um, you could be holding off communication from somebody, you could be holding off um, financial um, outpouring, you know, some, like, like, um, like something legal, there could be something being held off on, um, you know, you could be, there's a, a thousand different things, let's continue on, what's at the bottom of the deck, to, okay, so, you know, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, okay? So um, this is underneath for this. You're, you're holding off on taking 
an offer on making an offer to somebody. I think you're holding off. Um, you could be holding off until you feel that you have the right information at your fingertips and that you feel that you are like stable in regard to what you can communicate with this person. Um, you could also, you could also be, I'm feeling somebody is upset to the point where they are where they are operating out of a level of like juvenile stupidity and like they know that to a degree like they, they get it like they know that they're pissed off enough where it's like they're they're operating that way and so in regard to this it's like they're holding off communication because they don't want to um you know engage in it where it's going to be detrimental it's going to be ineffective ineffective is what i mean ineffective there so let's keep going on. Show me more for the sign of Aquarius. So the Ace of Cups. Um, the Ace of Cups talks about love, about healing, about um, giving and receiving, about filling ourselves up to the point where we're, 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 we're sated, we're doing good. The star in the bottom here. So, you know, kind of more so I'm feeling in regard to this situation. Yes, there's an energy of love here, but I also feel like there's also an energy of we need to heal from this. Like kind of where I felt with that whole thing about like somebody operating out of like a very, very um, juvenile energy inside of themselves. It's almost like, you know what, we need to heal here. <laughs> We need to heal. This is energy that we need to heal from, you know. Um, and that's important to take time to yourself. Like when you need time, take time. You know, if you feel that you're like operating out of a place where you're just about to like claw somebody's head off, like take some time, like be conscious of that. Don't don't rush into a communication with this person just because it's almost like um, I feel like the momentum here is it's uh, the anger has like brought momentum to this and so it's like you need to be conscious of how you engage with people you know that makes a big difference and and I think that that's what you're doing so sorry my foot's caught in the, the stool um show me more for the sign of Aquarius so the two of cups it felt like that but I feel like it's like that um, you know, two of cups in reverse. I mean, this card is about connection. It's about communication uh, within love, recognition of a connection within love. You know, somebody that you feel very fondly of, not, not even fondly of, like you love this person, you know, but that doesn't mean people don't mess up. This doesn't feel good for the Two of Cups. And I don't know why I picked this this deck either. Like this deck is the mythic mythical deck, the mythic deck. I can't remember. It's all it's all like, you know, Poseidon and and um <laughs> you know, um Titan type stuff. It's all Greek mythology type. So I don't know why this deck is being used right now for you because everybody else got a lot of other things. So um, the same deck. The two of cups here in reverse though. This is a dissolve of a connection. This is a dissolve of a situation. This is a need to heal. You know, it's like when um, two people are no longer flowing together. They're like not, they're not it's, it's not symbiotic. There's the, the connection has been like, um, you, you're off, you're off with somebody, you know? And, um, it's, it's not, it's not coming together. It's like emotions are frayed, but emotions are also to the point where it's like things are shut off between people. So people aren't talking, people aren't communicating. People are not budging, you know, ideas or um, like restrictive behavior is like at its height, you know, like you need to be conscious of that. 
especially how you hold on to things um, in regard to love as well. Because like when you hold on to stuff that's been detrimental to you, when you hold on to things that have hurt you and like, you know, yeah, like learn from them, but like make the effort to not hold on to it. Because when you hold on to it, like you literally have to stay within that energy. It doesn't really, pro it's this, this kind of stuff, you know, it's like, this is holding on to energy that basically poisons you over time just because it's something that is so toxic that you just really need to let go of. But like we hold on to things in regard to that, or we'll hold on to certain aspects in regard to that. <sighs> like, like this person holding on to certain aspects of potentially like reacting, you know, in a childish way and taking time to be away from that. So, you know, <clears throat> yes, don't, don't react, don't communicate to a certain degree in that regard and take your time, but also everything else that I'm talking about in regard to this four pentacles, like, you know, it's toxic when we hold on to stuff like that. It doesn't, it doesn't serve a purpose, especially for folks that do it for like years and years and years and years, like mega grudge holders, like that is so hard on you, like literally physically, that's hard on you. So um, let's continue. Show me Aquarius, Aquarius, love relationship reading here. King of Cups. Okay, so this person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is a Scorpio card though. Um, you could be dealing with that energy. This person is the one that is wanting to offer this. This person also may have been somebody who was more so impetuous in the past, who uh, didn't think things through in regard to how they operated with you. And it feels like they want something new. They want a new beginning, a new um, energy with you to share and to uphold. But I think at this point, you're kind of here. The Seven of Wands. It's like... I mean, not much can kind of sway you at this point. Um, you know, I think that the idea of love being reconnected and rebonded and forged is something that is of potential in the future. But <clears throat> right now, where the energy of you is, where, where the energy of you is, where the energy of you are, is, are, you know what I mean? Um, where it is, is like a standstill. And I think that that's the healthiest way to do it, you know, and in regard to you, um, this energy can also be attached to you as well. And if I were to do that, I want you to understand that taking time to heal yourself and be conscious and, you know, out of frustration, not like drink and drug, you know, like out of, um, Make it a necessity to get more so in touch with what actually is and kind of dissipate the clouds of illusion um, that heartbreak and frustration and anger can bring to a situation just because those things actually muddle the reality within the situation and which in turn um, shifts the outcome. So you need to be careful of that. Showing more about Aquarius love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, thank you. So the Queen of Cups, she popped out in reverse. So now we have a couple here. <clears throat> and on the bottom of the deck, you have the um, Seven of Swords. <clears throat> so we have a couple here. We have a couple not seeing eye to eye. Feminine energy here, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, it feels like somebody, you know, <sighs> Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck over there. Like, I kind of want to look at that more so. Yeah, it just, it feels a lot like a lot of the other Seven of Swords. Sometimes they get different energies about it, but, you know. These people are not seeing eye to eye. These people are frustrated. These people need to hash it out 
and like that's the energy that's presenting itself here I, I really want to clarify most definitely because you know there's it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on here that um <clears throat> is unclear and i want to know what happened here you know this this is something that's it, it feels like it's confused it feels like a energy of miscommunication that's what i want to say okay show me more here so the ten of swords so whatever this queen in the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck so harsh information harsh communication you know <clears throat> if this is you you know taking on this queen of cups energy in reverse you know you've had an experience that's pretty much run you through the ringer you you're exhausted but also you may not be up for nice chit chat and communication like this sounds like you're i mean you're you're upset you're pissed you know and i don't feel like this is you necessarily laying down like oh my god i've been so wounded it's like i've been wounded i'm going to rip your head off you know like that's the kind of um energy that I'm feeling from this, you know, and it's directed at the King of Cups. So if you're involved with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, there you go. This is very much a Scorpio card though. And I do want to mention that Scorpio and Aquarius, um, they don't quite meld that well. Sometimes they are very, um, their energies are very, very harsh together. So just be ca conscious of that you know, and, um, let's, let's definitely dive in with some, um, clarifiers. My words are getting so like muddled. It's weird. Okay. Show me love and relationship readings for, or energies for, um, love and relationships for the sign of Aquarius, September 1st through the 15th, 2019, 18. See, muddled. Okay. Show me the four of pentacles. Okay, so you have the chariot, you have the ten of pentacles, and you have the four of swords. The ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, ace of cups, ace of cups. This is the energy wanting to come in. This is healing a situation. This is trying to nurture a situation back in. Use your judgment, you know. This is also a card about judgment, discernment, what you're going to communicate, you know. And make sure you're doing it from an energy that you're not like... Um, I feel like this is the other person. Hang on, I'm confused. This reading out of everybody is super confusing. Like, like not like I'm confused here, but like I'm like, it's like a fog. It's so strange. It's like walking through like, like a blanketed mist. It's weird. Okay. It's heavy, if that makes sense to anybody, you know. Um, with this, you are basically healing from this situation with this Four of Swords. But you know what? They're offering you movement towards something new. They're offering you a brand new beginning in regard to stabilizing and redirecting this relationship. That's very much what I feel about this. I feel with this relationship, this is the, this is the chariot, but like the, the, the energy redirecting the relationship, redirecting the motion that this is going in, you know, and there's something about it that is it's aside from just having to deal with this person again and communicate with them. It's aside from that. I hope it comes to me because it felt like it came and then it went. Show me the ace cups. So the three of wands. So you know what? I feel like, okay, and the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you do want this in a way, but like you might just need to calm down right now. But it's not, 
oh god that's almost like nursery rhyme-ish and not like rhyming but like it, it it's almost childish and I'm sorry I don't mean it like that at all um this is something that you could potentially want to reconsider um to mend this you know you do have the two of cups here in verse and here upright in the bottom of the deck um and this is something that you've been waiting for this is something that you've desired something you would like to pursue you know, and it is this Ace of Cups. Um, but I think it's important to also pay attention and, and um, honor your feelings and give yourself time to communicate because timing is essential and key, especially when it comes to like deep matters of love. Like you don't want to be um, clouded by anger and frustration. I wonder if that's why I feel like ultra cloudy right now. But anyways take communicate the two of cups in reverse so they want to communicate about it they want to talk about it they want to they want to they want to bring you information here at the bottom of the deck you have the page of cups okay so this king of cups this cancer pisces scorpio or person who loves you who cares about you um who has an emotional connection with you, they want to be able to um, bring you information that you don't, they want to be able to bring you information that you don't necessarily feel you have to like um, read through the lines about, like, like read between the lines. Um, it's like they want to be able to bring you clear and concise communication that is something that, um, It's their truth. It's their truth. Okay. And and that's what they want to bring you. It's the, the page of cups. So apology, but also emotional communication. I feel that you are so hurt right now, though. You're so angry. You're so angry right now. It's like that communication just like... It just it literally like I, I pointed at this at the camera, but like this hot, hot energy just like shot toward me from this energy. It was just like, you know, and it didn't feel good. It felt like, do you know when you're like in a rage and you're just like that kind of feeling? It didn't feel right. It felt very, very sit in your corner you know it felt like that <laughs> and again not trying to say people are children but like it, it's like a prize fighter over there like go sit in your corner go to your side of the ring like chill chill show me the king of cups so the magician for the king of cups so yeah this person wants to stabilize stabilize and stabilize they can also want to renew paperwork with you um there's something about renewing paperwork with you it could be um it could be related to a, a legal marriage paperwork there's something about medical stuff this could also i it's not typically this for this but what i'm feeling right now is that they want to um there's there's communication about there's a necessity to renew like almost insurance thank you insurance um health insurance car insurance life insurance whatever it is there's something about that what is it there's something about that too that's really really aching you and not like aching you but like pissing you off It almost feels like the way that this person has handled some of those type of things in the past has been um, immature, like like they haven't taken care of that in regard to you and something they have like back pay, not back pay, but like slipped away, fallen away, like a, a, a benefit or something like that and they have like dissolved due to neglect in regard to legal 
paperwork, um, documentation, something about that. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the, um, the, the, um, moon. So, you know, this may be wanting to clear stuff up. This may be wanting to reconnect and give an apology, a heartfelt connection again. Um, and, and I, I feel that, that that might be something that you really want, you know, and I don't think that this person is, <clears throat> what they're offering is more truth-based than anything. Um, and I think eventually you're going to like appreciate that, you know, but right now, horns out. Show me the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups upright. So in connection to this, and in connection to this, Queen of Swords, you are balancing out your energy. So it's good that you've taken time to think. It's good that you've taken, you know, you've recognized what you need in this situation, and that is done by taking time to think about what you need. And this is about balancing your energies out. You have the Queen of, Queen of Swords here, but also you have the Queen of Cups up right now. So the energies, the emotional aspect, that's more so in harmony. It's no longer in detriment. It's no longer on its um, negative aspect, you know? So you're coming along in this, and I feel that that's really important to mention. I feel that, you know, um, I'm being shown one week, one week to make a decision here one week to, and not like you're on like a time frame, not like this person, not like this King of Cups is like, you have one week. Maybe, maybe somebody would say that, but in that case, like you won't even like entertain the situation. You would cut them off entirely. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you're going to be fair and take time for yourself. It's like a week or a month. It could be however long you really want whatever it is that works for you, you will take the time that you need, but this person is, is okay with that. They're okay with that, you know? So yeah, very cool. Show me the Ten of Swords. So the Page of Wands, you need the Page of Wands here again. This person didn't really do the best in the past. Excuse me. Um, and it wasn't like the worst in the world, but whatever this conflict is, is something of a, um, it can be fixed, but it can be fixed. It's going to be, need a lot of work to fix it, you know? So it takes some time. I think you are, things are going as they will, you know, you can't, you can't force this. And especially when emotions and energies are involved, like you need to, Take time to recognize that and really act accordingly. Otherwise, you get shit situations, you know? And you have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, once you're able to take time to really solidify what it is that you want to say and do and act upon in this situation, I feel that's when you're going to actually take take the initiative to come forth and be like, all right, let's talk about this. Let's, let's, let's... <laughs> raise this from the dead, you know, and that doesn't mean that the situation is dead, but it can mean that this situation is in a rework. Um, this situation is, it's, it, it's, it's graduated from to be evaluated to, all right, let's, let's make some renovations. So anyways, um, and I do want to pull a romance angel here for Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. And... Okay. So very good, Aquarius. Let's end right here. Okay, good, good. I'm really glad because everybody's been getting like rough readings. Here we go. So healing family issues. This is a you're. This is a partnership. You need to heal this. This is necessity for you. Okay. Um, very very good positive energy from that, and then worth waiting for. So yeah, patience, pursuing this. Um, I think that it, it yields some good stuff, but you've got to come together. My name is Isol. I am here on YouTube as the Altruistic Mystic. If you found this helpful, uh, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm new here to YouTube and would love the company and would like to be able to build community, community with folks. Um, 
and yeah, Aquarius, I hope that this helps you. And I'm like, I'm like 20 seconds, 10 seconds away from this, like the end of this video for it to run out. So great. I guess this was meant to be. Take care. Bye.